Well, uh, Cleveland Indians. Uh, yeah, that went about as well as my football predictions. It's not to say that the Indians were a bad team. It's just they ran into the Astros, and the Astros are proving very capably that they can defend the World Series title that they got last year. As of this point in recording, the Astros-Red Sox game has yet to start, so it remains to be seen who will face the Astros in the championship series. Meanwhile, in the National League, we have the Brewers and the Dodgers. The Brewers having swept the Rockies and the Dodgers taking 3-4 uh, of four to defeat the Braves. On your note about changing playoff formats, Joe, I agree with you, but not in the way that you have. I think we've talked about this before, so forgive me if I tread on some ground, but in the past and the present, teams have complained about the one-game winner-take-all format in the wild card round, saying that it shouldn't just be one and done, that you should play a series just like with every other series in the sport. And if we get an expanded playoff scope because of more teams, say the four division, four wild card format that I have previously advocated for, then there has to be some way to alter the wild card. I would be more than open for making it a three game series at the top seeds town. So for this year's example, it would be a three game series at Yankee Stadium in the American League. And over in the National League, it would be a three-game series at Wrigley Field. And obviously, the first to two wins. So that way, even if you have a clunk start, like the A's did, or if you get a slow offense in the first game, like with the Cubs, you have a shot at coming back and taking the series. Another thing that has to change, and, well, I think after yesterday, Joe, you saw this coming. We gotta talk about Angel Hernandez. Now, Hernandez is kind of something we haven't really talked about much for an obvious reason. They're refereed. They're supposed to uphold the game. Unfortunately, Angel Hernandez is not really helping his cause at all. In yesterday's Game 3 of the American League Division Series between the Red Sox and the Yankees, the only reason that the Yankees' blowout loss was overshadowed was that Angel Hernandez had to have four plays and four innings reviewed at first base. And three of five, ultimately, during the course of the game, had to be overturned. Probably more if the team didn't lose their challenges on the two safe calls. That is levels of abysmal umpiring that are horrible, even during a regular season game. But they're made more magnanimous in the fact that this is the division series against the fiercest rivalry in any sport. What makes this all the more intriguing is that tonight he will be behind home plate. God help us all. Now, Hernandez has, for the past uh, couple years, especially after Ian Kinsler's rather public rant over him in 2017, has been regarded as one of the, if not the worst, umpire in Major League Baseball. And it is, in my opinion, the only reason he is still officiating in the game is because of a lawsuit he's brought against... Major League Baseball. For those not familiar, the lawsuit alleges that since Joe Torre has overseen the actions of umpires that Angel Hernandez has been shut out of certain high-profile events because he is a Latino umpire and therefore race discrimination. Well, I think Game 3 has firmly shown why that should be dismissed outright. When your official press brief on the matter, because they didn't have him available for comment after the game for probably obvious reasons, says effectively, thank God we have instant replay to check bad umpire actions. That tells you that even MLB is having a rough time defending these actions. Now, personally, do I think that Angel Hernandez should be out of the game entirely? Should he be kicked off umpiring crews? No. He is still an umpire. Even with his bad calls, he is still serviceable. However, he has proven himself that not because of his race, but because of his ability, he's being held back from high-profile events, and quite justifiably so. That has been my opinion. I would like to see what you, Joe, and others have on this matter. And I will see you next time. Have a good day. And go Yankees.